A new diabetes study undermines current thinking, which is that sharply lowering blood sugar reduces the risk of dying from heart disease. The study could change the way doctors manage the 21 million Americans who have type 2 diabetes. NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler reports. A major national study of more than 10,000 type 2 diabetics tested the accepted dogma that lowering blood sugar to very low levels reduces the risk of death from heart disease. In fact, researchers found the opposite. Englewood cardiologist Jeffrey Matican's reaction? Well, we were a bit surprised at the results because we really thought that by lowering the glucose levels, we really would have a, a lowering of the cardiovascular event rates, and we didn't find that at all. Scientists found a significant spike in cardiovascular deaths among patients who took multiple shots of insulin a day, trying to get their blood sugar to 6% or less. They pulled the plug on that arm of the study. The results inject an element of uncertainty into what doctors have always believed about blood sugar, that lower is better because it reduces the risk of heart disease and therefore saves lives. It does set that on its head a little bit. Dr. Joseph Giangola is the diabetes chief at Hackensack University Medical Center. Well, we didn't know where the lower limit was. In other words, how good does your blood sugar have to be? We didn't know where that floor is. In fact, that's the reason the study was being done. And there have always been lots of patient misconceptions about blood sugar. If they think, uh, you know, if, if, if carbs are going to make their blood sugar go up, no carbs are better. And that's absolutely not what we're looking for. We want some carbs. Okay. This new study is important for this reason. If you've got diabetes and you already have illness, that is, you already have established heart disease or pr blood pressure and high cholesterol, you may not want to get your sugar very tightly controlled. Well, they want me to keep it in a range is, you know, that's good for you, not as low as I can go. It's, you know, keep it at a normal range where it should be like everybody else who does not have sugar. The American Diabetes Association says 7% is a good target number. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Hackensack.